Hey guys, so today Sean and I are here to do a sort of day in the life of our careers. So unfortunately in the careers that we have, we aren't able to actually like take the camera and show you a full day in the life because for me it would be like a HIPAA violation and big. For me it'd be a national security violation. Yeah, and we don't want to get into any trouble, so, but we still wanted to do this video for you guys to kind of give you an idea of what our day to day is like when we're not vlogging. Mm -hmm. So as many of you know, I am a registered nurse and babe. And I'm an airborne paratrooper. Yeah. So that's just what our official job titles are, um, but we're just going to jump right in and get started. We're going to tell you guys kind of how our mornings get started, what we do when we first get to work, and what we like to eat, how things go, what time we wake up, all the way up until when we're wrapping up and like what dinner is like and generally the times that we end up getting home and such. Alright, so I will go ahead and start first. So for me, I generally wake up around 5.30ish. Um, in order to get ready really easy, I have to wear scrubs, so I don't have to worry about picking out my outfit. Usually it takes me a little bit longer if I'm going to pick out my outfit and such. Um, but I wake up at that time, and then it's time to go ahead and get ready for breakfast after, you know, doing all of the things you do to get ready in the morning. Uh, generally, I like to keep it pretty light because it's super early in the morning, and I don't like to have anything super heavy like that at that time. Generally, a muffin and some juice or some cereal or things like that are what I eat in order to tide me over until lunchtime. But, and usually I try to be out of the door by 6 because I need to be clocked in at the hospital and ready to take my patients from the outgoing nurse by 6.30. So, baby, what time do you wake up? What do you like to have for breakfast? And when do you have to be at work? Okay, so for me, I normally wake up at 5.10 to be ready for the first formation at 6.30 mm -hmm. and uh, I like to be there a little early so I can just kind of chill before uh, the formation. Mm -hmm. um, first formation consists of, um, well they raise a the flag and then you know we salute it and then from there we start our morning PT or exercise in other words. So after uh, PT I'll come back home and pretty much eat whatever, like I don't care. Put something in front of me, and it'll be gone. <laughs> but uh, you know, I'll get a breakfast and um, you know get some time to spend with her before I go back to work at 9:30, mm -hmm. babe. Yes. Okay. So that's generally how things go for him first thing in the morning, and you've heard how things go for me first thing in the morning. So once I actually start to begin my work day, I get my report from the nurse that's going to be going home for the day. So she and I get together. I get all of my information that I need on my patients. I try and make sure and find out important things that I may need to know, like if anyone is having a procedure done, if there's a test that needs to be done, if there are labs that I need to be looking out for, any special needs that the patient may have, are they going to keep trying to get out of bed, do I need to like heighten my safety precautions with them, um, is there a family member that's expecting to hear back from me. All of those different things I like to find out about at the start of my day. Once I have finished getting my report, sometimes it's from one nurse, sometimes it's from multiple nurses. So, you know, you just kind of have to find who has your patients and then see when they're available and get your information that you need. After I've finished my report, I like to go and at least lay eyes on all of my patients. So, I use this as an opportunity to introduce myself. Hey, I'm Sierra. I'll be your nurse today. That's generally how it goes. And then I write my name on their board. I update their boards with any specific or pertinent information to them. So maybe if they have an x-ray that they need to get done today, I may say, okay, one of our goals is to get your x-ray completed. Things like that. And then I also use this opportunity to see if anyone has to use the restroom, if they need anything, you know, ice, water, anything that's going to make them want to get up while I may be tied up with another patient because I want to definitely avoid having falls. So I use this opportunity to do that. Once I have at least laid eyes on everyone, I go back around and I do my vitals and my first assessments. So anyone that has medication that's due first thing in the morning, I like to go ahead and get them their medication first. And I try to go in order of priority. So if there's someone that's like really, really sick, I try to get that patient first. Um, not that I neglect the patient that's not as sick, but it's just that patient is has more going on and a higher potential for things to go wrong. So I try to avoid complications, um, especially on the types of floors that I work on. So I've worked on step-down units and most recently um, a post-procedural unit where like people will come after they've had all types of surgeries and whatnot. So it's very important right after getting these things done to look out for you know blood clots and 
any other type of issues like that. I need to be moving the patients, making sure they're okay, making sure that nothing's underneath them, making sure that their STDs are squeezing their legs, you know, so I like to go around and make sure all of that is done. Once I go to my patients and do their full assessments, I'm checking their blood pressures, I'm checking their vital signs, everything, make sure everything's good. Then I go ahead and give everyone their medication and make sure that their breakfast is set and ready for them to go. At this point, when I, when I first came in to say, hey, how are you doing? I was kind of doing my assessment, making sure that they're oriented, making sure, you know, that they're tracking me with their eyes and things like that. I go back and do a more in-depth one the next time that I come around. I use this opportunity to go to the nurse's station and get a little caught up on my charting. So babe, what is your first, like the very first round of work that you do? What does that consist of? Nothing that specific. <laughs> <laughs> so basically it depends on all what you do. Mm -hmm. So what is consistent is that multiple Mondays are a thing. And typically what you'll do is you'll go down to the motor pool, form up, and they'll assign vehicles for different sections to work on for that day. And afterwards, you know, you go back to business as usual. It depends on what stage of training you're, uh, you're currently in, um, as far as how your day is going. So it's, if you're working up towards like uh, a training rotation, typically you are prepping like vehicles, uh, weapons, equipment. Getting ready for jumps uh, is another thing that we do. Uh, we have uh, initial manifest calls. That's where we practice our uh, landing uh, and jump maneuvers. Um, and then final manifest call, of course, that happens the day of the jump itself. And uh, jumps are fun when you, you don't have to have all the equipment mm -hmm. rigged up to you. But uh, if, you can, if you can manage like a Hollywood jump, those are my favorites for sure. Because that's, that's more of like a, a freebie, you know? That's like you jump out of an airplane and then you just go about your day, pretty much. So for me, it's like Sean was saying, it's a little more specific. So once I have seen all my patients and done all my morning things, generally it's coming closer to like um, early afternoon at this time. So I use this time to go to the nurse's station, get me a computer like to get all my charting done, like I said, check all my labs, make sure there's no physicians that I need to call or family members or things like that. Of course, at any moment, a patient can call me and I may have to get up from doing that, but you know, that's just kind of what I try to do. Um, at this point, I generally try to go ahead and take lunch if I'm free. So the way the nursing works is you can't just walk off the floor and go eat. You have to have someone covering your patients. So I like when there's a dedicated charge nurse on the unit because she's available there to run the unit, kind of make sure you don't need help with things and to provide lunch relief. So generally I'll say, you know, hey, am I able to go to lunch right now? And if I am, she'll take my patients. Now sometimes there's not a charge nurse and there's only the nurses. So we have to work it out where, okay, you watch mine while I go, I'll watch yours while you go. And that just makes things a little bit more stressful because like I may have anywhere from three to five patients. And if I leave my three to five patients with someone else, plus their three to five to go eat, then it's just like, it's a stressful situation. So that makes us like try to hurry up and eat so we can get back. So, you know, we don't feel like we're like imposing our responsibilities on someone else. But that's why I said it's so, so nice to work at a facility where they provide you with an actual person that is watching your patients because I just feel better knowing that like the person that's watching my patients has only my patients, you know. But anyways, so I try to have lunch at that point. Um, generally, I have something pretty light. I may have fruit and like, you know, grilled chicken and rice and things like that. Things that'll help me to stay like light on my feet where I won't feel kind of sluggish and weighed down after having like a real good meal you know like how you have it at home um i generally will have things like that i try to have like crackers yogurt stuff like that throughout the day to kind of tide me over because in california um i got along with my lunch break i got like i believe it was two 15 minute lunch breaks or 10 minutes something like that but in california they had a mandated lunch break so it was the law that you had to clock out for 30 minutes and take a lunch break so that was really nice in other states that i've worked in that's not the case so you may get a lunch you may not you may end up going to lunch you know right before you get off of work for the day which is kind of doesn't really count because then you're just going to go home and have dinner so generally i try to have my lunch before 1 p.m um that's generally how things work but you know it doesn't always work out that way baby how does your lunch normally go so lunches uh they try to schedule around like 11 30 to 13 
that's like if all conditions are perfect and the stars are aligned uh, it doesn't always work out that way you know I'm sure multiple career fields you know have lunches that have to shift or sometimes you just have to work through lunches it's just how it is but typically yeah 11 30 to 13 and again I'll eat whatever is put in front of me I'll eat it pretty fast too um, I don't like my chill time but um, afterwards just get back to work 1300 uh, typically we try to get off at 1700 sometimes you can work really late it really depends on your training cycle it's just, just how it is with anything really that you do yeah so I don't know if that's the difference in men and women or the difference in soldiers and other careers but me personally I feel like I have to eat me it's always always you know that you're not leaving before it's time to clock out so it's definitely at least 12 hours every day that I work 12 hours is a long time to go without food yeah. and it's an extremely long time to go without food while you're caring for three to five other humans that are depending on you you know because we need food to help us to stay alert we need food to keep our oxygen levels up we just we need food in order to survive so working off a 30 minute lunch break is hard enough working for 12 hours but definitely need to eat so if you're a nurse and you're working through your lunch break stop it because it's not healthy and we have to take care of ourselves too so don't do that and yes I'm giving you the finger don't do that if you don't want to be harming your body while taking care of others it's just not good you can't do that and speaking of harming your body while taking care of others <laughs> <laughs> that's what baby does unfortunately yeah. but you know I don't know I guess some of us have chosen you know careers where we sacrifice a little bit after I've checked on my patients again then I make sure I update my charting yet again of course it's time for my medication by this time make sure that everyone has been medicated I make sure that they're you know they got their lunch trays I do that before I went to lunch but after lunch it's time to start you know getting ready in a few hours for dinner I make sure that anybody who needs AccuChecks or their blood sugar, you know, checked. If you don't know what an AccuCheck is, and then again, chart, chart, chart. I keep saying charting, but it's charting, charting, charting all day. Um, and then it's time to start preparing for the oncoming shift. Hmm. What about you, baby? When you're starting to prepare to wrap up, how does that kind of go? Uh, so typically when we're trying to wrap up, Again, it's random. Like, <laughs> it, is, it is literally you work until you're done. And, um, you know, the time you get off is also dictated by your chain of command. Um, it is never I'm on my own time and I, you know, get off at a set time. It is literally the first R says send everybody home. Mm. So that's how it is. Mm. Um, yeah, typically just it's hard to explain for soldiers because there's a, a lot of different positions held within like my MOS mm -hmm. like you know typically I just try to get whatever they task me with done okay that's it okay so he completes all of his tasks so yeah. same with me I make sure that all my medicine has been given every doctor has been called every family member has been updated every patient has been fed you know and then I start preparing for the next nurse so generally she'll come and find me I give her a report I make sure I put a star beside all important things I want to make sure that I pass on um, I tell her about her patient we go in we do our bedside report together you no know, and then I get ready to clock out and head home when I get home I strip out of my scrubs at the door I do not walk through the house and just get comfy in my scrubs I don't wear my tennis shoes inside <laughs> Because you can imagine all the things that I stepped on all day in a hospital, all kinds of body fluids and stuff that I don't even want to think about. But so I'll leave the tennis shoes outside the door, strip out of the scrubs, shower, and then it's time to get ready to make dinner. So make dinner, we eat, you know, and then yeah. relax together. Same thing. Like yeah. when I get home, I'm out of this uniform and getting into <laughs> something comfortable. Don't get me wrong, there's nothing wrong with the uniform. I just, you know, would want to get comfortable. <laughs> yeah. Like this, it's um, it's kind of a warm uniform, actually. Yeah, it's, it's pretty thick. Yeah. When you're out in the, in the heat, you'll drop top. Like, a lot of days, I'll work in just a t-shirt. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I don't, you don't walk around post in just a t-shirt, but like if it's in like a controlled work environment, like mm -hmm. you just 
take this top off and then wear a t-shirt, but you, yeah. You, you, uh, you want to show us how you take the top off? <laughs> <laughs> we hope that you guys have enjoyed our rendition of, I said rendition like we've been singing, <laughs> but we hope you guys have enjoyed our version of yeah. A Day in the Life. Like I said, it would be more fun if we could actually like go and show you a course, but you know, we just, mm -hmm. we don't want to cross any lines that we shouldn't be crossing. Yeah. Be sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe. Let us know if you liked this kind of twist on it.